This work introduces a system to deform shading on a surface to follow artistic goals instead of physical laws. Consider this example, where art direction suggested a non-physical shadow manipulation. The shadows of the two flowers should face each other as depicted in this concept drawing. Using our system, an artist can manipulate the shading components, such as shadows on a surface, in an intuitive way. In this example, by sketching the desired shape. Such manipulations can be artistic exaggerations, but oftentimes it can be hard to tell which shadow was edited and which is physically correct. One of these examples is physically correct, all others are edited. Besides sketching, shading patterns, such as shadows, can directly be moved over a surface. In this example, a ball casts a shadow on this wall and the user is dragging it up and down the wall. As our editing metaphor, we propose a virtual piece of cloth that is painted with light and can be moved over a surface. Here you see how two constraints can be used to generate a rotational motion. Furthermore, our approach uses a meshless geometry representation and therefore supports arbitrary meshes with complex topology. How are these edits computed? Consider the example with the wall again. All we need to do to change the shadow is to deform the surface in such a way that the new location happens to be on the surface itself again. While space deformation has received much attention, such on-surface deformations have not. We perform on-surface deformations by solving for a system of deformation points given the user constraints. The system optimizes the deformation using a hierarchical solver implemented in graphics hardware. Here you see a visualization of the splatting base deformation interpolation as detailed in the paper. Next, we will show several applications of on-surface shading deformation. Adding details to complex geometry using 3D textures is common, but can be difficult to control. Here we deform a 3D texture pattern over the surface. Note how in contrast to our method, spatial deformations that are common for this task change the on-surface pattern. Further, our approach supports editing various shading components. In this example, indirect light in the Cornell box is modified to yield a more pronounced indirect shadow shape. Also, specular indirect lighting, such as caustics, can be modified. In this example, two flying dragons cast shadows on a wall. An artist decided that the right dragon should have more visible shadow and drags it down the wall. Note that here we have performed a local edit. The other dragon's shadow remains in place. In this scene, complex geometry made of many disconnected components is used for very fine edits. Such edits would be very tedious to apply using image-based approaches or by manipulating a texture. Our system can handle a number of challenging situations, such as scenes with animated objects, low-quality geometry, or scanned high genus objects. In this example, the shadow on a scan model with 1.4 million triangles is manipulated. In this video, we have presented our approach for on-surface deformation of shading components in complex scenes using a virtual cloth editing metaphor. The system handles editing of various shading components in a unified and efficient way, as demonstrated in this final still life example.